Valen. Well, let's move back to our breaking news story this morning. Fees must fall activist. Uh, as you do know, Kanye Trekeshe has been released from Leokop prison. This follows the remission of sentences that were granted by President Cyril Ramaphosa last week, which also saw Abu Tembo King Buyalakaya Dalindiebo released from prison yesterday. Now, Kageshe was serving an eight-year sentence at Leokop Prison in Johannesburg, where he has been since 2017. And uh, just to remind you, he was convicted of public violence and malicious damage to property for trying to set alight a police van during protests in 2016. And joining us on the line now is uh, Kanya Kageshe's lawyer, Vika Stale. Thanks so much for speaking to us here on Morning Live. Uh, good morning, Pete. Vickers, we do know, of course, that uh, uh, we, we, we spoke to the family of, uh, of uh, Mr. Trikeshe a bit earlier, and they're saying that as, uh, as this is a victory, and they are very, very happy that he is now out of prison, it's still a long road ahead. Can you give us a, bit of, a better understanding as to, with regard to the legal process, what, li what still lies ahead? First of all, yes, it's fantastic news that Khan has been released. Um, we, we had a very big team fighting to, until late last night to, to get him released. Um, but that does not stop the, the legal process. We, we are going at full steam with the petitions um, against his conviction and the sentence. Um, we are still fighting to clear Khan's name um, and fighting to get him justice when the justice system failed him and his previous attorney failed him. So we do understand, because that he's been released on a parole. So what are those parole conditions? Um, I've got no, no details yet. Um, I just got a quick message from the family this morning, so I'm waiting for the family to wake up and spend some quality time with Kanye, and then I'll give them a call and get all of the details on what his conditions are. Um, but generally, it's, it's uh, like checking into a police station once or twice a week, and there might be some courses attached to it that he has to complete, um, and there might even be community service. But, but all those details I'll get once I get to speak to the family. We've been given some information, uh, and perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about this with regard to his DNA that was requested by the parole board and that they were having a little bit of difficulty getting that. What, what was that all about? <laughs> uh, there were many difficulties yesterday. Uh, the biggest problem yesterday was to have um, DNA tests taken of Kanye and fingerprints taken. Um, and, and the process that we were told yesterday is that local prison can't do it itself. It must be done by a uh, local police station um, and local porting Phantom police station's area. The problem then was that uh, the police station didn't have enough DNA kits, and they, well, they had no DNA kits, and they didn't have enough fingerprint machines. Um, so that fight, although most of yesterday was, was to get someone to do the DNA testing and to do the fingerprinting, um, and then finally everything was done. But it, it took many hours and many favors that we called in from anyone in higher positions to get that done. Yeah, no doubt. Also the pressure and the goal to have him home for Christmas. I mean, that I imagine That is, was what we were fighting yeah, for. Yeah. I made a promise in June or July that I'll have him home for Christmas. And that was my goal yesterday, to fight as hard as we can to get him home for this day. And, and, and perhaps just a, a more general question, Vikas, uh, because many of our viewers have been asking with regard to granting of parole. Yeah, so um, how long before someone becomes eligible for parole? The, the normal process is that you must, uh, it depends on the sentence that you were granted. Some sentences will not have a parole period, but in general, uh, you must serve off your, your uh, period before you can be, uh, become eligible for parole. In terms of um, a pardon, because that exactly is what you're looking more towards, that's the bigger picture here, is that it's kind of trying to have the, in, the entire charge scrapped um, against Kanye Trekeshe. How long could something like that take? That can take anything from, from 6 to 12 months. Um, last week or the week before, uh, I wrote my last letter to, to the NBA to court asking for an urgent update on the, on the petition. Um, ours was lodged in, in early November, and we, we didn't receive any response back. We haven't received a date from court, um, nothing. And until a, a letter that I received from the NBA last week saying that the record is incomplete and that um, the bundle that, that we lodged did not contain the judgment of the 14th of October, and it did not contain the transcript of the proceedings on the 14th of October. And I wrote back to the NBA saying that's a blatant lie. Um, I pointed out to them which page numbers are all of the documents that they've requested. So hopefully we'll get going, but um, I don't see, see this person being finalized within the next six months. And, and, and perhaps just a final question, Vickers. Uh, people would be saying, well, um, Kanye Tageshe did commit a crime, and, and, and therefore, um, the, what would be the basis for trying to have his record expunged? What sort of argument are you presenting? Well, without going into the details of um, whether Connick committed a crime or not, I've got my own opinion that he did not do it. But um, we say that he did not receive uh, proper legal advice, and that's a constitutional right that was violated. Um, he, he was absolutely 
sidelined by by his lawyer. Um, and if we then turn to the magistrate, the magistrate made numerous errors on Tanya's guilty plea. Um, he did not, did not follow the Criminal Procedure Act, and Tanya was treated so unfairly by the legal system um, that it's only right and only fair that, that his um, conviction and sentence be overturned. Well, thanks so much for your time this morning. Uh, Vicar Stale is a lawyer of uh, Fees Must Fall activist uh, Kanya Tregeshe, who was released from Lyoko Prison. And uh, he, like King Buyelekaya Dalingyebo, will be home for Christmas. All right, let's take a break here on the program.